At CPS Energy's power plants, heaters are positioned. This is the indication to me, just walking around, that it is at least on. Spot checks are performed. This right here, this is one of the many heat trace panels we have. Several things I'm looking for when I walk up to this panel. First of all, the power is on. Follow-up verifications are conducted. Do you know if we are ready for the uh, organization? Yes, we got our salamanders are checked out. All this to make CPS Energy winter storm prepared. When cold weather comes through, not only does it put a strain on the equipment at the plants that put them at more risk of coming offline, it also puts a strain on the grid so there's the highest demand for electricity at those hours. So it's very important for the reliability of the system and in ERCOT that our plants stay online or able to meet the demand. We've spent quite a bit of money and quite a few man hours just winterizing these plants. This is our winter readiness procedure. Uh, we keep it in the control room, all control rooms have it. We will review it, it will tell you what to check, it will tell you under certain weather conditions, the levels, how often we have to check it. Well, prior to the winter season, ERCOT requires every power company to certify that they've completed all their winter preparations. And our part downtown with EMO is to conduct the winter storm drill, which we did in November. The ice storm of 2011 showed power companies across Texas that Mother Nature can wreak havoc. A really cold system moved in for an extended period of time, and that's an example of how these really tough systems can cripple our fleet. Throughout ERCOT, it was the same story, and they were even rolling blackouts. And so there are new requirements for even more preparedness before wintertime. Now, the winter storm watch is on. We want to make sure that these systems are up and working, not just when it's freezing, but also before that condition comes. And CPS Energy stands ready.